Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to share some of the best uses of the fingerprint scanner on an Android smartphone. So you might be knowing a lot of devices be it the mid-range, the budget or the flagship devices. Almost all of them come with a fingerprint scanner. So we have two devices here. Uh, one has a fingerprint scanner on the rear panel. So this is on the rear panel and the other one has a fingerprint scanner uh, integrated with the home button. So there are two types of fingerprint scanner, even now uh, there is a fingerprint scanner located on the side panel uh, like the Sony Xperia devices. So uh, we have uh, most popular ones are on the rear panel or either on the home button integrated with the fingerprint scanner. Now we'll uh, see some of the best options uh, you can do with uh, the fingerprint scanner or if you have one on the device. So first step, uh, the most uh, important one is unlocking the device. So that's the major use of the fingerprint scanner. So if you are a device uh, having a fingerprint scanner, you can add multiple fingerprints and unlock the device in quick time without having to enter the password. Now another option is that you can add multiple fingerprints. Say for example, if you want the, uh, the phone to be used by somebody else, you can add a fingerprint uh, for that person and he can uh, quickly access uh, uh, I mean uh, the phone uh, with his or her fingerprint print so that's another useful feature but uh, generally we don't uh, really share smartphones so but uh, uh, if at all you want to have multiple access to your device uh, you can uh, add multiple fingerprints so that's one uh, uh, common use of fingerprint scanner to uh, unlock the device now second option is to authenticate on uh, the google play store say if you're purchasing any app uh, you need to enter the password to uh, before you purchase the app uh, maybe it's uh, apps or movies or anything else you need to authenticate if you're if you're purchasing an app not the free ones the ones which uh, require your credit card information so for that you can use a fingerprint scanner so you can see here there is an option available which uh, shows uh, fingerprint authentication you can enable this and uh, whenever you uh, uh, whenever you are uh, uh, purchasing a new app uh, you can uh, uh, use this fingerprint uh, to quickly authenticate that instead of having to type the password each and every time so that's another useful option now that's uh, now let's come back to another option available here to lock apps so a lot of uh, 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 software that is OEMs of uh, option to lock apps. So we have one from Coolpad and this uh, uh, allows you to lock apps uh, on your device. So if you are having um, a multiple uh, apps like the social networking apps, you can always protect it uh, using the fingerprint scanner. That means whenever you open that app, you need to either enter the password or the fingerprint to unlock this. Unless you unlock it, you will not be able to access these apps. So these apps can be protected on an individual basis. In instead of having uh, the whole apps protect, uh, protected using fingerprints you can uh, protect uh, say for example whatsapp facebook and other other social networking apps alone and uh, unlock it uh, using the fingerprint so this locking of apps uh, using the fingerprint is not available on all devices but uh, still you can try out uh, uh, other play store apps uh, uh, using um, i mean there are a couple of uh, play store apps which allow supporting uh, locking of apps using uh, fingerprint scan you can see the link uh, in the description of this video to see some of the apps which supports uh, locking of apps uh, using the fingerprint scanner so that's uh, one uh, useful option now another option is to take uh, photos so when you're taking selfies uh, uh, you need to hold the device and then uh, capture the selfie so sometimes that might uh, uh, quite uh, uh, difficult task so what happens is uh, there are certain phones which allows you to take uh, captures using fingerprints so you can see here one of those phones you can fingerprint uh, capture open the fingerprint identification first and then take a photo by pressing the fingerprint recognition so i will just uh, show you so uh, we have a uh, device here so we are just taking a photo so you can see here uh, we are taking photos using the fingerprint and this can be used for the front facing camera as well so here you can uh, see we are just uh, taking a capture using the so there you go we are taking using the fingerprint scanner and this is quite handy for taking selfie so again this feature is not available on all devices some of the uh, devices do not offer this feature but it is available on quite a lot of oems these days uh, with fingerprint scanner so that's another useful feature of the fingerprint scanner now another use uh, of the fingerprint scanner is authenticating your banking and other purchases so if you're using android pay or other banking apps some some of these apps uh, do support a uh, fingerprint scanner authentication uh, so if you're if you're using a banking app which does support fingerprint it's easy to enter the password and authenticate 
uh, instead of having to type the banking password so this feature is not rolled out to almost all the banks uh, only a few of them support you can also use android pay uh, supported services uh, using the fingerprint scanner but right now this uh, feature is not a really mainstream feature because not all banks support this feature uh, but uh, if your bank does support fingerprint scanner you can uh, easily authenticate uh, using uh, the fingerprint scanner available on this on your device so that's another useful option then uh, uh, finally we have a uh, lot of uh, password managers uh, uh, which support fingerprint authentication so uh, if you are using a password uh, manager uh, then uh, you can uh, use the fingerprint to authenticate it and uh, access the uh, password so that's another useful option so these are some of the options uh, you can do with your fingerprint scanner uh, these options might change uh, over a period of time because there are uh, a lot of options are now coming up uh, uh, on uh, based on the fingerprint scanner previously locking of apps was not there now we have locking of apps uh, now with android 6.0 marshmallow a uh, lot of changes have come to the fingerprint uh, uh, mechanism that's now much more integrated into android so these are some of the options you can try out if you have a fingerprint scanner on your device and uh, if here in this device uh, there are lots of options say for example uh, here we have a fingerprint scanner now we have you can see fingerprint scanner you can a uh, uh, lot of options are included you can unlock the screen quick capture one key dial uh, then open an app uh, quick uh, clear power saving mode private mode so it depends upon oems how they have implemented the fingerprint scanner so there are lots of implementation say for example one key dial open an app uh, say for each uh, finger you can set uh, to open an app uh, for example if you want to quickly open facebook and you you have supported facebook with with this finger you can just tap on this and it will open the finger uh, facebook app so these kind of options are not available on all devices but you can try out on devices which do support this feature so that was uh, a quick video on uh, what all you can do with your fingerprint scanner on the smartphone which runs android so that's all guys hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this thanks for watching have a great day.